Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of J Smith Plays MS Paint. I am J Smith and I'm on the internet. Welcome back for another adventure in art with me. Now, uh, some of the that, that's, that's briefly go over who I've painted already. I've done Northern Lion, I've done Prescription Pixel, I've done Rockley Smile, and I've done Foxman's Nipple. Uh, that's a whole lot of doing it, but it's kind of like a niche market that I chose. And so like kind of like the YouTubers that I hang out with. Uh, now, I'm going to broaden my horizon. Still in the game forum, though. Um, but let's see who my my next inspiration is. And it is this man right here. Gabe Newell, or Gaben, or to some people, our lord and savior. So, uh, my task is to bring Gaben to your screen via my screen. And I'm trying to try to capture his essence, going to try to capture his beauty. And going to hopefully... I don't know, ask him for some Steam trading cards afterwards. So anyways, let's get down, let's get dirty, let's get right into this. Um, I will start the countdown. J. Smith draws Gaben. Three, two, one, go. Now, I did kind of preset my, my colors a little bit because I failed at a particular drawing. So I'm going to end this, I'm going to start this with this kind of like black color, or this orange color, and then maybe fade it into a little bit. Ah, I'll do that later. I'll do that in post. What I want to focus on right now is Gaben. I got to get him right because he is the most important man in the world. So we'll start out just like that. I think that's a good shape for him, to be honest. And I think that we can just fill that in right there. Now, as we always do, we are going to get a slightly darker version of that for his body so he's got his neck region pumping out right here and down to his neck on this side and it's gonna come around here to his collar and up and over I think that's pretty good that's not a bad start to the Gaben lifestyle here um, what we could do next is how about this shirt how about this shirt that is a really nice looking color. I kind of want one. Uh, a little bit lighter. That should be good. Now with the brushes, we are going to hopefully be able to make this collar pop. Uh, out and then down. I don't really like that. And up. No. Up, down. And then around to his back. Yes. Very good. Very good. And gonna need his shoulders over and down to here. That's not too bad. Uh, you know, it could be better. What if I just did that and over like that? A little bit better, a little bit better. Uh, we will fill this in with our paint bucket tool. I did start, I just want to make sure. Um, filled that in with our paint bucket tool. Now, we need to get a slightly darker variant of this and get his collar going. So we're gonna get our paintbrush tool out again. Kinda cover this down and around just like that. So you can tell that it's a polo shirt. Kinda comes down. Alright, there we go. That is looking good. We'll get a button in there as well. And it's gonna come up, come up and around and then back down to over here. Great, great. I like this. Well done, Gabe Newell. Hmm. <clears throat> now for funsies, we could just add one, you know, his massive arms because he's been lifting weights. He's been eating Subway, he knows Jared. Uh, and he's got some like wrinkles in his shirt as well. So we'll add those minor details as well. Mm, very looking pretty good, sis. Now, um, <clears throat> Gaben's beard is a big part of history. Like, that didn't exist, you know, five years ago. So I want to make sure that this is looking good. He's got, like, a nice... He's got the gray beard going on. It's really cool. Um, so for that, I'm going to have to edit some of these colors. I don't want to get it white, but I do want to give it some sort of a gray color. Um, between a salt and a pepper, I suppose. So... I think that'll be all right. Now we will just kind of fill in the beard just like I would any other. I'm getting good at facial hair. 
I think we've seen that with with Nick's facial hair and most certainly Fox's facial hair. You know, I've got it. I kind of got it down, I think. So his ears around here. I think his beard goes up to there. He's got a damn powerful beard, man. Like I wish one day I can have a Gaben beard. It's it's powerful. It's it's wise. Like it it imbues all the things that are wisdom and everything that's right with the world. It's 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 not a neck beard. It's not like a, a full on you know scary beard. It's neatly trimmed. He keeps it well kept. And uh, you know he's basically the the greatest man alive anyway. So who cares? So got this going on. It's not as patchy as this, you know, I'm just trying to fill it in to its greatest maximum potential. And I think that's a pretty good beardage. I've got to bring this part up a little bit. It's definitely got some definition in his flavor saver. That's always super important, especially for Gabe, and he's going to need that. Uh, his lips, uh, I'm confused, I don't know how I want to do his lips. Maybe like this color right there and so if I can get a nice big mm, can't quite see that but you can't quite see it anyways but I kind of want it for for definition so I will hmm, it's kind of like he's not too happy about very much but he's not angry about it either so we'll get that going and maybe a little bit down as well all right and now we just need a I guess I could take this color, make it a little bit deeper, and maybe a little bit down to here. And we'll just kind of draw a line right through the middle. Are those lips? Do those look like lips? Maybe like that? No. Definitely needs to go the whole way. Mm. And over. Eh, could be worse. <clears throat> that is, that's the J. Smith story. Just could be worse. Could be better. Could be, you know, horrifyingly just bad. But that's what it is. Uh, that's how his nose is going to be. It kind of comes up. Ooh, I don't know about that. There we go. He's a big dude. And I don't want to do him an injustice, but he is what he is. So his nose kind of comes up like that. You can draw this up here. And maybe that up to there. Yeah, that's not too bad. How about I make this a nice dark color? It's like a little bit of a red nose. Well done. And it'll come up like that. That's pretty good. We'll make his nostrils kind of come down like that. And then uh, he's got kind of like that going on. So kind of come down like that. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. So if I did that, and then he's got another one coming down like that. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to get back to his uh, facial hair, since now I've got his basic facial structure down. Now he just needs to fill this in with his majestic hairs. And we're gonna come back down and around. Well done. Well done. I'm liking this Gaben. I like the background too. It's got a nice uh, juxtaposition against, you know, the orange, the green, and the orange. They have a nice, you know, color matching skills. They go well. They flow well together. It's a nice, you know, kind of it pops, makes it pops. Everything that Gaben touches really pops in the best kind of way. Alrighty, so now we got to get his hair, which is like a light brown-ish. So if I got that, or maybe it's like a dark, I don't know. So we'll get this, and we'll start with uh, this kind of size. And we'll make it flow down like that. And it's got some waves in his hair, too. So I want to make sure I got I get that in with the picture. So there we go. It's sparkling, it's shining, it's blowing in the wind. Like that one song by uh, Kurt Cobain. You know, featuring Elvis Costello. You know what it is. Blowing in the wind. Uh, and down. Now he does have an ear going on somewhere. I haven't drawn it yet. He's got some pretty nice hair, really. 
You ever see Gabe and Sarah? You ever look at it, study it? There's, there's, there's a lot to be learned. I can see myself in his hair. I can see, you know, little Jay Smiths growing up in the lands of the free, in the home of the brave. And he, he, he just looks at things and he's not afraid. When, when Gaben looks at things, you know, there's, there's two possibilities. One, he's going to love you for it. Or two, he's going to beat your brains in with a sledgehammer. That's probably not true. He's, he's probably a really nice man. Uh, all right. <clears throat> that's okay. And he's got some hair going. He, he's got some pretty long hair. So let's get it going down, all the way down to J. Smith Town. And we will also get some of the gray in here as well. So just like that. Just to mix it up. Just to mix it up. And then I'll probably go back over it with another brown. Just to make sure that the gray looks evenly mixed in. So that's okay. And then back over to our brown. Great. Great. Uh, now I got to get started on his eyes. So he's got... He's got some eyeage over here. You can't really see. He's got some small eyes. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And this one kind of looks like uh, lumping down. Yeah. So those are good Gaben eyes. We'll fill those in with white and we'll color them in. He's probably got some brown eyes. I don't really know. He's my brown eyed girl. Gaben, my brown eyed girl. Do you remember when? We used to Gabe. Gabe in, din, 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 din. Gabe in, 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 in. Oh, God. Don't sue me, Van Morrison. I didn't mean it. Uh, white for his pupils. There we go. Actually, that's, that's a little bit too much. So let's do that. And now he's got his glasses, and they're pretty circular. So I could probably get this tool out. Oh, God, that's not the right tool. So let me get this one out. There we go. So if I did one of these, that's not going to work. Can I move this? Yes, I can. So we got that one. Eh, it's a little bit too big for me, I think. Okay. That's one. I'll copy and paste. Oh, God, that didn't work. Uh, and I'll see if I could get another one over here. Three minutes to go. Should be all right. Now... These lines are kind of far apart here, um, but I can probably move this a little bit closer, huh? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. So let me put that over. Is that the color? Is that the color? No, that's not the color. Is that the color? Yeah, that's the color that I was looking for. So move that. Oh, God. Um, over to here. And then this, I'll move over to here. There we go. Now I'll get my gray back out. I'll get my brushes. And I will fill this in. Like that. And we'll have his glasses going back over there. And we can now make his ears. So his ears are going to be you know, the same color, like fleshy. We'll make that come down and around and then we could probably fill this in with his regular color just like that kind of that's good enough for me and you can't really see his other one but we'll kind of make something over here so it looks like he's got an ear or something there you go there you go it's a pretty good Gaben. He could probably use some more fur in this region. And I've got to get the background as well. So uh, there's just a whole lot of things going on in the background. So I'm going to use my uh, tool right here. I'm going to fill it with white and just kind of make a bunch of stars and sh stars and other weird kind of accents, I suppose. Uh, I, su I guess we could do this up and then down and then all around I don't know how to really do all around so I'm gonna do everything in like one go and left and also down that looks 
kind of all right. Uh, I'm gonna get the brown out again, and let's see what I could do with this hair. It kind of comes down to there. It's not as peaking as, as this kind of makes it look, but I guess that's about all I can do. Um, given the circumstances, I guess he's just gonna have this one floating hair down to there. And I love this brown <laughs> Okay, um, and I think, uh, oh, his eyebrows, his eyebrows. So we'll just do that, and we'll do this as well with his eyebrows. I guess I can make them a little bit more of a dark color so it doesn't blend in with his hair so much. So we'll do that. And over here as well. And that's a pretty good Gaben. Uh, you know, we'll give him some chest hair. He probably has some. You know, curly cues right down in here. And that is is uh, Gabe Newell. Written, directed, and starring J. Smith OTI. Thank you, everyone. For hanging out with me, that is that's that's it. That that's a Gabe Newell drawing. I think that kind of looks like him. That's really not that bad. I need to focus on maybe shading or something in the future, but I like the way this looks. I guarantee it. I am Jay Smith, and I am on the internet. Thank you very much for joining with me today to uh, honor our our Lord and Savior Gabe and the the lead dude at Valve and and Steam and all that kind of fun stuff. Check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash jsmithoti, twitch.tv slash jsmithoti for any of my live streaming action. Thank you very much for joining with me today. It's been a whole lot of fun. I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.